Not to mention, I was not able to scroll very far when looking for pictures for this video without it becoming not YouTube friendly, if you get what I'm saying. So, <laughs> who needs a blaster when you've got feet like these? And let's not even mention the internet's reaction to Tom Hiddleston. Plus, that whole spirit possession because a child was murdered sure does build up some pent-up anger. But out of games, you guys do not have to keep drawing this bear sexy. Like, I don't think you understand how many sexy pictures of this stupid bear I had to look at. I mean, I literally had to do research and stare at this stupid sexy bear for hours. You guys will literally simp over anything that has limbs and eyes, huh? Even this sexy, haunted, mangled piece of children's equipment. You guys make me sick. But still nothing to write home about. Yet. Because in the end, it's not about crits or fails, win or lose, player versus DM. It's about friends and fun. And the shared moments that make us thankful for the adventures we've had together. From the Molotov cocktail incident, to improvised shield surfing down an avalanche mountain, to a time and dimension jumping boat that flies, to burning down an entire city because of one failed perception roll. Those memories are irreplaceable, and those friendships last a lifetime. And if I could only have one thing on this list, it would be this. Oh my god, I'm gonna Matthew Mercer, and oh my god, who, who approved this, this, the, the guns in d and I thought it was supposed to, I mean, like, I get you can have whatever settings, but just... And who thought it was a good idea? What are grip points? How do you determine when to activate a grip point? I just, I'm just, it's just infuriating. Like, who was like, yes, let's put guns in D&D &D and have every rule just be like, uh, just like up in the air and the DM decides or the player decides. It's like this broken homebrew thing you get off like D&D &D wiki where it's like, I have the power of a god and I can just, I can just kill things whenever I want with a snap of my finger. It's just, why would you make this a thing? I'm just gonna go, Mercer! Oh, no, 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 this can't be. What about the way of the four elements, Monk? I mean, that's exactly what he is. It's like literally what Aang does. I'm gonna be so fired. Wait, maybe if I keep going, no one will notice. Sue me. Where the only rule is that there are no rules. But he's not the sharpest puggle in the parade. Oh, by the way, there are no bears in Sonic. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, I seriously can't believe there are no bears in Sonic. There's Big the Cat, there's an alligator, there's hedgehogs. I mean, come on. So remember my wannabe wizards? When it comes to spell casting, it's not just about the magic words. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yes, it's a weird name, so I'm just gonna call them Gray Smurfs, okay? That's right, I'm calling it here. He's not actually dead, okay? He's faking it. He's just waiting for the perfect time to pop out and tell me, I, I mean, Riley, that it's all okay. And maybe your imaginary friend isn't really gone, because what would it mean if you shut out your childhood? He can't really even be dead. He can't be dead, it's, it's not real. He's always so busy needing to save the princess, to save the kingdom, to save Toad, or whatever else Mario needs to do. And he needs to get around quick. It's always about Mario, never Luigi, you know? Without Luigi, Mario would be nothing. He's a screw-up, and Luigi has a good head on his shoulders, but it's too low to do anything about it. Heck, he even used his last one-up in the form of a Revivify to save Mario. But what would Mario do? Hmm? Nothing. Probably drag him to some startup biz brother business, leave him in a comfortable lifestyle. What a joke, mama mia. Guys, I'm, I'm serious. Are we still calling him a dog? Or is there another name I should be using? Because he looks like one of those chihuahuas that dog owners claim is cute, and then BAM! You know, it's it's just hideous. Wow, I can't believe it's been a year already. We here at Natural One just wanted to say thank you for all your continued support. Um, we really didn't expect it to take off like this, and we're really excited for the future. I mean, we just hit 500 subscribers and the handful of videos over 1K views, and we've actually had one that's almost at 10,000. Um, we're excited for all these future projects we have working on behind the scenes, and we hope you're as excited as we are. Um, so keep up the comments. We really enjoy reading them. Keep liking and subscribing if you enjoy this kind of content, and share it with your friends. It really means a lot to us. Uh, again, we really appreciate all the support you've shown us along the way and we hope that this coming year is as good as the first so that's all i really have so i guess as always keep those dice rolling and we'll catch you on the flip side